Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks to part four of the Granny Square Blanket Crochet Along. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell and you'll be informed when there are new videos, uh, giveaways, um, live chats and all kinds of uh, yarn hauls, yarny fun. So um, in part four, we're going to be doing the border. Now, I've already completed the border on this blanket because it is 20 squares. So that's five by four. And I wanted to put on a border that was decorative that wasn't difficult because this is a beginner's um, tutorial. So um, what I've done is I've put the blanket so it's finished. And now I've made a swatch so that I can show you how to do the border and it's not going to take forever to complete it. I did the same thing with my Willow Square Blanket Crochet Along and it worked out quite well because otherwise I would have to pop this on hold for quite a long time to get all the way around. So this is just a miniature version of the blanket and I'm going to show you what I did. So I've got my white yarn that I've been using for this um, this blanket and it's uh, I was right in my assessment. Uh, I said it would take three uh, balls and it has taken exactly three balls. Um, this is, I'm only starting this fourth one now because I'm making this swatch. So it wasn't a bad guess that. So um, now I've just made a knot. So that's, um, that's not good. But I might have to pause the video while I undo it. You never know. Uh, may have got it. That's cool. Uh, that, oh, hey, look, I did have a little knot after all. If I can get that out. Maybe not, so we'll just get rid of it. Easier that way. Okay, so I've still got my 4.5mm crochet hook. And I normally start in a corner. So that's any corner. Doesn't matter. So we just attach the yarn. And I'm going to attach it, not into the hole, but into the actual stitch in the corner. And I'm going to leave a nice long tail for sewing in. So I, I just pull it through and my first chain, I use both loops, both ends, should I say. And then I can drop that end and just be working with this. So for this particular um, border, I did two whole rounds of half treble crochet that's a uk term and in the us that's a half double so ignore the fact that there are two loops on the hook it's only because i went through both to do that we yarn over go into the big hole yarn over and pull up a loop now you will have three on your hook bearing in mind you've probably got four on this particular one yarn over and pull through all of them and we're going to do that two more times. So yarn over into the big hole, yarn over and pull up a loop. We have three on our hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And again, exactly the same because we want three in our corner. And I'm going to pull that tight because I don't want that to make that baggy at all. So I'm gonna zoom just a little bit so that you can see it better. And um, just bear with me one moment. Sorry about that, I had an interruption. So I've done my three in the corner and I'm going over this tail as I go. So I'm going to just do one half treble or half double in the US in each of my stitches all the way around. And that's in every single one. And I'm going over that tail at the same time now you don't have to do that if it's confusing but it's it's nice to get rid of it sorry if i was just make sure i wasn't going off camera there so we're going in every single stitch with our half treble or half double and just doing one in each nice and easy now you can, if you wanted to, do a double crochet, which is a UK term, 
or a single crochet in the US terms and that will give you an even smaller stitch but I find that um, this works just as well it doesn't look too big once it's finished on the blanket I'll show you on the larger blanket <coughs> what the border looks like sorry for my um, coughing I've had a bit of asthma this evening so like you can see it doesn't make it look overly um, large stitches for the border at all looks works out quite well so it might it does look a bit bigger on a small swatch but on the larger blanket it doesn't so we just go in each one and I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to go in every stitch along and I will pick up with you again once I get to this corner and show you what to do next I'm sorry I forgot to mention that when we get to the join it will look a little bit different so how I overcome that is I go into each of my stitches and then when I get to that center part if it dips down then I'll go into that and instead of doing I didn't go into that it's very uh, tight stitch there so just pop into it and pull up my yarn so I've got three on my hook and I will then do a treble crochet but I don't think looking at it that it looks too bad it doesn't look like it's dipping down but if yours does then that's how you get out of it you just go into it and pull up a loop and then do a treble crochet which is a UK term or a double crochet in the US and it will bring it up to the same height but mine this time around my joins are quite flat so I don't actually need it but on the blanket I did on um, on a lot of them so that's how I got over that being a bit of a dip but it's not really too much of a dip on this swatch so I just thought I'd show you so I'll carry on till the corner right so I am more or less at the end of the row and at the corner so I've, that's my last proper stitch there I'm going to do three into the corner just to get me around that corner and then go straight into the next stitch and continue working round and that will make that corner quite nicely so now I'm going along this edge and I just want to check it looks nice and straight here there's no no significant dip there so I won't need to do a longer stitch that's fine so I'm going to carry on um, all the way around and I will meet you back at the start so you can see where at this corner where we join so I'm going to carry on all the way around and I'll catch up with you when we get to that point I'm more or less back at the start just pull some yarn out should have done that before I rejoined you I've got a couple more stitches to do before I'm back at this point so we'll just two and then all we do is slip stitch into that first stitch to join it do a chain and in the same stitch we're going to do a double treble hang on didn't go according to plan and then in the next one and it gets a little trickier to see the middle stitch for your corner but it's the next one so we do three in there just to get us around that corner I must say I've been really pleased with this um, Women's Institute yarn it's uh, really soft so now we've turned the corner and whereas when we were doing the blanket it was quite important that we um, finished at the corner this time it's not because we actually want to f have a few stitches before the corner when we come to do our final row and um, I'm going to zoom out a little bit because I think it's harder for you to see 
so we want it kind of finishing here and I'll show you why because when we do our corners um, on our final row we either want our shell to go completely around the corner like this one or we want it to finish where we have a shell before the corner and a shell after so either way is fine um, and sometimes the stitch number doesn't work out so we have to manipulate it so that it does so um, it's either like this where it goes all the way around the corner and it keeps the pattern or where it goes either side so <clears throat> that's why on our last round we want to be here so this round is much easier it's just going in every stitch around and then when you get to the corner just going into the middle one you can see which one's the middle just by um, looking the be the one above your shell it's easy to spot so just do three in the corners and one in every stitch along making sure you go into the right part of the stitch not into the bottom part but into that bit at the top there and I will pause the video and I will see you when you get back to this point here okay so I'm back to the start again it's my last one and I slip stitch into my first stitch and I've made my join so I do one chain now I'm going to make a shell and this is the shell it consists of six one two three four five six treble crochets in the same stitch and so what we're going to do is we are going to skip two stitches so this is the first one sit and we're in this stitch it's one two we're going to go into this one so we're going to go in and pull up our loop so we've got three loops on our hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two now that's a treble crochet in the uk or a double crochet in the us um, so we're just going to do six of those in this one stitch and that will make a shell and the reason i wanted to finish um, two or three um, stitches away is because it puts us in the corner nicely so that's four five six so now we're going to skip two and slip stitch into the next stitch so we've made our shell in our corner now we're going to repeat that all the way around so we're going to skip two stitches so there's one two we're going to go into this one sorry it's because i've zoomed in we're going to skip these two stitches we're going to go into this one so there's we're in this stitch here there's one there's two this is where we're going so we're going to do six treble crochets or doubles wherever you're if you're from the other side of the pond in that one stitch and then just as before we're going to miss these two stitches and we're going to slip stitch into the next one and we've made another shell and we're just going to do that all the way around and so I'm going to continue along this edge just pull some yarn out and we're going to skip we're going to skip this one and this one go into the next and do our six in there the sixth one 
that's yarn getting caught under there and we're going to this is the stitch we're in we're going to skip one skip two and we're going to slip stitch into that third stitch along and there we have our, our shells forming nicely I wish I could get this yarn not to do that but it pulls it tight and a bit annoying so now I'm going to zoom out so that I don't go off camera so we're going to skip two go into our third I didn't go into the stitch I went into the hole go back into the stitch and make six in our one stitch to form a shell And then we skip one, two, and slip stitch into this one. So I'm going to carry on all the way until I get to the corner, and then I will show you what we do next. Right, so I've gone all the way along, and I'm back at the corner, and this one has finished off slap bang in the middle of the corner again. Now, I just want to um, imagine it didn't. So what I would do if um, there was um, one too many stitches there, how I would manipulate that is I would do one, two, and I would do a decrease. So I'd pull my yarn through there, but I wouldn't complete my slip, slip stitch. I would do another one and then complete my slip stitch. So I'd just bring them together. And then I could do my... Uh, corner in exactly the same way and I think because uh, I don't I don't need to do that in this case but I did on the large blanket a couple of uh, the corners were perfect and a couple um, just had one stitch too many but that's how I manipulated them anyway I just did um, a decrease by slip stitching into two of the stitches instead so this one's just the same way as normal. Going to do my six in there. And then we miss two and slip stitch into the third. And we've got exactly the same corner as we had before, where we have that right in the corner, that one that goes all the way around. Okay, so now I'm going to pause the video again, and I'm going to go all the way along this side until I get to this corner. And then I will come back to you and... Um, see if that corner is different okay so i'm back at the next corner and again it's ended right um with the corner in the right place um and so i don't get to show you how to um do the one each side maybe the very next corner i will but um hopefully anyway but it's looking like these all meet up so possibly not but um, on the other type of corner it just ends here obviously and um, so it finishes in that corner and then the next one here but if it didn't finish in exactly the right place I would do that decrease that I showed you earlier and then maybe get the one there and one there it's just it's just a case of assessing how many you've got if it if it works out just perfectly that's great but if not then there is that way around it so um i'm going to carry on all the way along and uh, see what happens when i get to my very last corner um and um i'll meet up with you then right so i'm at my very last corner and it's not um not finished that way again so I would be doing my corner in this last and that would be nice because they'd all match 
but it wouldn't be such a problem if they didn't anyway. Um, the way it works, I will show you if I can... I just I know that you'd probably be fine if it happens, but um, it, the way it would work out was that you'd make your shell here and in the very corner would be where you did the slip stitch and then you start again. So it would just work out instead of having the shell like this, you have a shell shell. Um, but it didn't work out that way on the swatch at all. So um, it's just another one where the corner is actually at the corner. So that's fine. So I'm going to carry on and um, I will meet up with you when I get back to the start and I'll show you how to end off. Okay, so I've done my last shell and how I end this now is into, I slip stitch into that very first stitch that we made and then leaving a nice long tail. I'll just end off and I do that by pulling my yarn through, cinching it down and pulling it through. So all I have to do now is to sew in this one end. But there we have the uh, the border and I thought it's a nice shell border. None of this has been blocked by the way, it just um, goes quite nicely into a, in, and flat. But um, if you need to, then you can block it. But I never really feel like I, I need to block it. It just lays quite nicely as it is. So that's the end of the uh, crochet along and I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I think it's an, a lovely blanket to give as a gift. Um, nice uh, colours and um, I think it's lovely and soft with this yarn anyway. So uh, I hope she enjoys that. And I hope you've enjoyed this uh, crochet along. I'm going to be busy now searching for another project. So as I said before, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this, to this uh, channel. And if you could like and share these videos, that would help me a lot. And check out to see if there's any giveaways going at the moment on my channel. There probably is. So thank you so much for watching and bye-bye uh, for now.